Someone requested for a tutorial on a pink and peaches nude sort of high school graduation look, so here's what I came up with. Of course, I'd recommend just going with mascara and not false lashes if you're aiming for a more natural third of look. So, here are the before and after close-up of my eyes. Let's go on with the tutorial. Start with primer as usual. Now, grab a shimmery peachy eyeshadow and apply it to the inner half of your lids. Sorry it's not showing up too well, bathroom lighting isn't the best. Grab a reddish pinkish eyeshadow and apply it to the outer half of your eye. Make sure both colors show up when you open your eyes. Now, grab the peachy eyeshadow again and blend it over to red. What I like about this look is that you don't need to be careful about the blending. The two colors will just blend together into a pretty gradient, so just blend it over. Grab a brown eyeshadow and a super small brush. Apply it the way you'd apply a very thick liner. For my eyes, I find it more flattering if it extends far beyond the outer corners of my eyes and connects to the highest part of my eye line, which is roughly in the middle of my eye. Finally, grab a black eyeshadow and draw a line as if you're lining just the tip of your wings. Blend it inwards well, making sure it transitions smoothly into the brown. Soak a cotton pad and eye makeup remover and fold it in half. Place it where the bottom of your wing should be and swipe up. See how sharp that is? Before we continue, it's concealer time! Remember to color correct! Pink or orange covers dark circles really well. Green or yellow covers red spots well. Now that I've taken care of my dark circles, I'm lining my lower lash line with the same peach eyeshadow. To make my eyes pop, I'm lining the inner corner with gold. Now you're nearly done with your eyes, it's just time to pick what kind of lashes you want. And I'll get to that later. Meanwhile, it's time to apply foundation. I'm personally a fan of keeping coverage light and applying foundation only where it's needed. If you're in high school and blessed with clear skin, definitely do this to let your natural youthful doiness show. Apply a pink blush, and if it's too pigmented, blend it out with a kabuki or oval brush. You want it to look like a natural flush. Now, I'm simply using a bronzer for a light contouring. For my face shape, I'm just doing my jawline and a bit under my blush to slim my face down. I'm personally not a fan of heavy contouring for real life events since it looks way too heavy even though it looks amazing on camera. Plus, if you're attending one of those graduations where you're stuck sitting outdoors or in a hot auditorium while listening to way too long speeches, you don't want to worry about sweating your contouring off. For lips, I'm going with a nude color to keep with a natural look. Plus, reapplying lipstick during graduation is really hard. Here's my favorite part finishing spray. This helps your makeup last longer, and if you have super oily skin like me, you'll want this to keep your makeup lasting the whole day. <coughs> just be careful where you're spraying it. For brows, I'm just filling up the spots where my brows aren't as thick, but you can fill up your entire brows if that's what you prefer. Blend with a spoolie. If you've decided to go with mascara for your lashes, I recommend curling them with a heated eyelash curler. They're the best at getting stick straight Asian lashes to curl. Now, here's the part to help you decide what kind of lashes you want. This is how I look without any mascara on. And this is how I look with mascara on. And this is how I look with false lashes on.